Hello, good morning. The science of 10x scaling is mastering yourself, identifying the most impactful process, and developing a high-performing team that can be duplicated. The art in 10x scaling is finding people who want to grow personally, professionally, and financially with the business in order to achieve their personal, professional, and financial goals. That's from Brandon Dawson. Scale is an art. It's how you do it and who you do it with. A business crisis or emergency is always unfortunate, but they can also have an upside. When they do happen, they expose and highlight both your strengths and weaknesses. It can force you to pivot and invent new and innovative ways to grow and add value, personally, professionally, and financially. Use this time to fortify yourself, your team, and your business. Evaluate failure points and determine what you missed before that led to the circumstance that you are dealing with today so that you can do it differently with more purpose on the restart, rebuilding a company that exemplifies the very best of your intentions and eliminates the risk associated with past poor decisions. You will build a better, more valuable business and have more enjoyment and security knowing that you succeeded and over an adversity before. This will give you the courage to continue to test yourself, your team, and stretch further in the future. Once you remove the emotion and accept where you are in the present, including the good, the bad, the strengths, and the weaknesses, you can assess how you got to where you are now and start to plant the seeds that will grow you into your future ideal picture. But you must learn from your past self, your past thinking, your past doing. It's vital that you make sure to eliminate all the things that did not work. You need to identify those elements and convert what didn't work into positive intention statements, ensuring that you never find yourself in that position again. Take the best of what you've learned Reinforce those in your intention statements and create the rules, conditions, and actions necessary to propel you forward, not incrementally, but explosively. When push comes to shove, given the choice, what do you want people to say about you, about how you responded during this time? Will they say the stress and pressure of the challenge drove you underground? Or will they say you rose above, innovating, leading, and looking within to secure a better future for yourself and those around you? What legacy will you leave behind? From Brandon Dawson. Intention. Grant Cardone talks about the importance of writing down your goals every day. By doing this, you are imprinting what's important into your mind. The more specific your goals are, the more you will create the conditions to turn them into reality. What you think is what you say. What you say is what you do. What you do becomes your legacy. Brandon Dawson. What is your intention for the next three months? What is your business, business goals in the next 12 months? What is your growth, growth goal for quarter one. Creating the blueprint, scale versus scaling. The business owner want to start something and want it to be huge, but there are steps when you take action. You have to understand the laws of growing and scaling. Breakthrough is to understand maximizing what you have and understanding the mechanics. Majority of businesses, they don't understand what you do, your mission, especially the people, 
and the people are not aligned with what you do. Promote, 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 and start. Scale is maximizing what you have. Scaling is rapid expansion of what works. Money flows to problem solvers. Money does not flow to big degrees such as Harvard or Wharton. Real money and wealth flows to how you use your degree to solve bigger problems of the world. Scaling. Pick targets. Choose intentionally to move you to that target. Breakpoints. Understand what works and why it works. Understand why it stopped working. You learn from more from your mistakes. The pain of your mistakes will draw you or push you to your objectives. Three A's. Acknowledge, accept, and own it. A action. Pick your action, pick your target, and take action. It is in the disappointment that you learn something. It's all 45 degree. That means you're not stretching. When you reach failure, you correct and you build. If you never break, how can you build people? Breaks are inflection points. Belief. The bigger your belief, the bigger your results. Low belief will create low results. High belief results to high results. You have to be great at what you're doing. You have to own it. And this is very hard to do. Second, operational effectiveness. You have to be operationally effective. Third, leadership. Me leadership, then we leadership. Be an example. Spend time with your people, maximizing what you can do to scale. There are 15 million businesses who have single employees. You have to set targets, then pursue. If you set an example, then you can create a we leadership. Scale is doing it over and over that you're bored and you are ready to scaling. You are not allowed to do whatever you were doing ever again unless that person is sitting with a person that is training you. For the next 30 days, did you get it? If not, look for another employee. Learning your numbers. The more you understand and identify your numbers, the better it is. Revenue is vanity. Profit is sanity. It is impossible to outscale a broken system. What will, you, what will get you in trouble is you not being granular with your business. KPI means Key Performance Index. You need six months worth of cash in the bank. Your business have to make money to hire three people. 70% of all businesses were built by the technician, but he was not the business. There's 25 million businesses will, uh, with one employee. There's 5.3 million businesses that has two to three employees. Where do businesses get stuck? From 100,000 to 1 million. And this is the break point. Break point number two is from three to eight million. Break point number three is from eight million to 15 million. Break point number four is from 15 to 25 million. Break for point number five is from 25 to 45. Break point number six is 45 to 75. And break point number seven is 75 to 115. You do not have to become wealthy on your own. You will become the five person you hang around with by Napoleon Hill. Where there's no commitment, there's no creativity. The quality of your answers 
determine the quality of your questions. If you cannot connect people, you cannot lead them. And that's the law of connection by John Maxwell. Promote, promote, promote. If there is no demand, forget the business. Don't waste time and energy. Promote. How? You can purchase real estate. Why? So you can start on your own to financial freedom. Impact. Help your community by providing jobs and housing. Opportunity for them. Help them with their personal, professional, and financial goals. And profit. Are you demonstrating your goals are important? All our goals are independent. Hit your goal. Your responsibility is on your team. Otherwise, you're opting out of the team. If you don't have their goals, you don't have their hooks. Imprinting your goals every day. Am I amplifying or undermining my goals? Were you at your best at the end of the day? There's three to four hard questions from the team who are struggle. Are you committed? Are you at your best? Are you putting the right action? What are you willing to get to give up to get what you wanted? Are you training every morning? State your goals every day. Where are you in the scale of being serious? If you are four to five, then you have double the capacity to get to something. You are not committed. Do intentional thinking. Be honest. Guys, I realize in order for our business to grow, I need to lead the future. And team, that starts right now. In the bottom third, I'm going to remove them every three to five months. I'm going to be always cultivating. Create an environment where people can grow. Your people's personal, professional, and financial goals have to be the things that matter most. Personal is their passion. Professional is their accomplishment. Financial is their motivations. How do you improve the discipline? To do every single thing, what you tell yourself that you're going to do, what you plan to do. Repeat successful actions. Learn how to monetize your daily activities because you're spending your time and you're spending your energy on it every day. If it's small and not making money, it's called a job. There are three lids. The Law of the Lid by John Maxwell. It states that leadership ability is the lid that determines a person's level of effectiveness. The lower an individual's ability to lead, the lower the lead on his or her potential. What is the belief lead? What is the operational effectiveness lead? What is the leadership lead? My three leads. How do you move beyond where you currently are to where you want to be? How do you inspire others to help you achieve your individual goals? The process begins when you amplify and elevate your level of thinking, creating ambitious goals and a high level of expectation for achieving them. Rate your confidence level around your abilities in each of the leads. Belief lead, operational effectiveness lead, and leadership lead. Belief lead. It is my confidence to, number one, think. Think beyond my own self-limiting beliefs. To set. Stretch goals for myself. Third, visualize. Visualize myself accomplishing those stretch goals. Fourth, 
identify, identify top performers in the area I am trying to accomplish. Fifth, surround, surround myself with people who are achieving things I want to model myself after, personally, professionally, and financially. Operational effectiveness lead. Define my opportunity, number one, define my opportunity for personal and financial growth over the next three to five years. Two, gain. Gain positive attention and use it to contribute to the business goals in order to enhance my career. Third, identify. Identify the gaps in my professional performance. Four, balance. Balance executing my present professional performance while trying to grow and develop my future skill set. Fifth, align. Align my personal, professional, and financial goals to the objectives of the business. The leadership leads. My leadership lead is my confidence to one, lead. Lead myself to shift my thinking when negative distractions are present. Two, influence. Influence others to raise their belief lead by being the top performing example. Third, inspire. Inspire others to raise their belief lead by being the top performing example. Four, inspire. Inspire others to raise their operational effectiveness lead by doing things more efficiently. Fifth, communicate. Communicate with others to ensure we are on the same page. Six, align and leverage. Align and leverage others' goals with my own goals in order to achieve more. Seven, discern. Discern who I should invest my time in developing. List your biggest area of opportunity in each of the three leads. Belief, operational effectiveness, and leadership. Self-reflection. The law of circulation. It states, what goes around comes around. Therefore, if you are not accomplishing or attaining the results you desire to have, it's because of something coming around that is broken from your past. Define your past self. What are the 10 things that have caused your fear, anxiety, and stress? Define present self. Identify various situations that you will stop allowing yourself to repeatedly focus on your, to repeatedly focus on for your future self. Define your future self. Power and intentional thinking, the three T's. Powerful thinking. Massively successful people know when to appropriately shift and focus their attention and thinking. They understand that earning, improving, and mastering various areas of their lives, and thus the business, are not mutually exclusive. Rather, they can exist at the same time. It's important to recognize the nuanced differences in how we think as we address needs that fall into each of these three categories. We must be mindful of both the positive and negative patterns that can emerge as we embrace the thought processes of the three T's. Define transactional thinking. Define transitional thinking. Define transformative thinking. The three T's. Transactional. Thinking and doing. Transactional thinking and doing is all about execution. Everybody needs to execute daily. Yes, the thing that separates, separates average contributors from top contributors is the quality and the result of their execution. What are the activities you do on a daily basis that have the greatest impact on your overall thinking and doing? Which activities feel the hardest yet ultimately result in the least impact? Daily activity. What are high impact? They feel difficult and significance once achieved. What are low impact? It feels difficult, yet not significance, significant once achieved. What activities that you selected as low impact 
are you willing to stop doing any sign to someone else? Transitional thinking and doing. Transitional thinking and doing is the movement from repetitive, intuitive actions that are not working as you initiate change that will move you to your ideal picture and future self. You're aware of the need to move towards learning something new, figuring out how to do those things bigger, better, and more substantially. Based on the daily activities you listed as having the highest impact on your daily activities, list those below and determine the type of transitional thinking and doing you need to apply to each. What are your high impact activities? What actions do you need to learn and improve? Scaling your goals, personal, professional, and financial goal planning. The premise of the 10X rule is that most people set their goals too low. They don't challenge their beliefs and dig deep into what is possible because their goal setting is coming from their current level of awareness and consciousness, which is established by the things they've encountered and endured in their past self. If you listen to other people talk about their circumstances, you'll hear them creating a false narrative in their mind about what can or cannot be accomplished. This limited belief is based on their own personal reference points. You must rise above that for you to establish your individual 10x goals. The more you learn this process and actualize your goals, the more confidence you will build in your ability to 10x all aspects of your life. In order to simplify this process, we've broken individual goals into three categories, personal, professional, financial goals. Goal reflection, past experience. Determine the most impactful personal, professional, and financial experiences for your past self. Reflect on each one and indicate all the elements if given the chance you would do again and the elements you would not do again. What's your goal reflection on your personal experience? The positive elements, actions you would repeat. Negative elements, actions you would not repeat. Professional experience, what are the positive elements? The negative elements. Financial experience, what are the positive elements? The negative elements. Long-term vision. Setting individual goals provide you with long-term vision and engages your consciousness with short-term motivations. The process helps you effectively organize your time, energy, and resources so that you can create a 10x life. Yet most importantly, it helps bring a bigger purpose and clarity to what you're ultimately pursuing and the impact you're going to create. What is the overall impact you want to create? What does the ultimate picture of success look for you? Impactful goal setting. To create the most effective goals that move you to the ideal picture of your future self, it's essential that you're highly intentional and hold yourself accountable to the process. You do this by asking yourself meaningful questions centered around your goals because the quality of your questions will determine the quality of your outcomes. Number one, write down a 10-year, three-year, and one-year goal for each of the personal, professional, and financial goal co categories. Number two, answer the four questions about each goal. Note, this activity may require you to spend an extra amount of time critically thinking about each of your goals in order to ensure it is fully aligned with your long-term vision. Be sure to go back and reference your past self 
positive elements to ensure you're repeating the behaviors that will help you attain your success. Your personal goals, your professional goals, your financial goals, the 10-year, the three-year, and the one-year personal goals. Decisions. What decisions need to be made to create the ability for you to accomplish this goal? The why. Indicate how this goal aligns with your purpose and overall impact you want to create. Advice. What elements do you need to identify and gain guidance in order to attain this goal? Data. What are the data points that you need to measure it to move your goals forward? Scaling goals. This process is imperative for mapping and structuring your goals in a way that helps to create your thinking process, map out the steps needed to accomplish the goals, holds you accountable to a timeline, resulting in an elevated overall confidence in yourself and your abilities. Specific. State specifically what is going to be changed or accomplished, the amount of change needed, and the quality of the result. Measurable. How will you measure your result? Make achievement of success clear and unambiguous. Attainable. Research shows that the best goals are challenging but can be achieved through planning and persistence. They stretch us and force us to grow and improve. Relevant. You should know why this goal is important to achieve. What will achieving your goals do to enrich your life and the lives of others? Timely. Clearly specify a start date, due date, and the milestones that will help you track progress allow you to celebrate or make the larger project more manageable. One-year personal goal. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. Specific, what are you going to accomplish? Measurable, how will you attack how will you track your progress? Attainable. What do you do? What do you believe you can accomplish? Relevant. Why are you trying to accomplish this goal? Timely. When will you accomplish this goal this year? Navigating scaling breakpoints. Breakpoints and inflection points. Breakpoints occur when the foundation of the business is not built on stable footings. Therefore, the clearer the picture of what you're building for you and those who are working with you, the better you can build a stable foundation. From Brandon Dawson. Identifying potential breakpoints and preparing for them to occur is an essential process to ensure a stable foundation. From there, you can create individual plans to ensure that when the breakpoint occurs, you're able to continue scaling up rather than declining down. Define a breakpoint. Identify a time you've experienced a breakpoint personally, professionally, or financially. What are the decisions you made that help you move through that breakpoint? What are the decisions you made that kept you from moving more quickly through it? Identifying potential breakpoints. One year, personal, professional, financial. Potential breakpoint number one. Identify potential breakpoints for each of your goals. Examples, hiring staff, training them, downsizing, lack of capital, losing revenue, new product, expansion, need for new technology, exit strategy, major disaster, and others. How will you identify that you're about to experience this breakpoint? What steps will you implement when this breakpoint moment occurs? How will you hold yourself accountable to implementing your plan? Establish a strong foundation. The rule of three Ps. 
to understand your impact and master yourself, the me leadership. You need to have complete clarity and alignment between you, your business, and a concept called the three P's. Promote, profit, process. Once you master the three P's with me leadership, you'll be ready to use the multiplier to 10x your result. That multiplier is people. Businesses don't move people. People move businesses. Brandon Dawson. Promote. Everything is a promotion. Who you are, what you do, your work, your relationships, your product. Your entire life is a promotion. People in your life probably taught you not to promote. But massive promotion is what ultimately creates massive success. Promote always. Promote, promote, promote. Grant Cardone. You need to promote yourself and your product and or your service for your company to be known. No one else is going to do it for you. When there's a lack of commitment, there will be a lack of results. It is your duty and responsibility to promote, promote, promote. Promote yourself. What do you do? What accomplishments have you achieved to make you an expert in your field? What elements differentiate you from anyone else who say they are an expert in the same field? Why should someone trust you on, a, on the above information? How could you be, pro, be promoting yourself more? Promote your product or service. What product or service do you provide? What problems does your product or service solve? Who benefits the most from your product or service? How could you promoting your product or service more? Promote your company. How are you promoting your company for new customers or clients? How are you promoting your company for your employees to engage with? How are you promoting your company to challenge your comp competitors? How are you promoting your company in order to remind yourself why you're, you're in the business every day? How could you be promoting your company more? Profit. The concept of profit is vital to understanding and creating certainty for yourself and future team members in your business. Profit is not just something that the business owner should care about. While it's important to promote, it's equally important to know the impact of the promotion. This clarity creates consistency and predictability in your results, which will increase your confidence in the activities necessary to create value. It's only when you understand that you can then teach others to do it. You will never hire people to do this for you. It is your full responsibility to ensure your business has the financial resources to succeed. How do you ensure you and your team's contributions to the business are impactful enough so that everyone is ultimately benefiting from the business financial success. Create a list of the tasks you're responsible for and measure how much those tasks contribute to the business financial success. Tasks, activity that impacts the business revenue. Measurements, they are your key performance indicator. Revenue impact, they're the dollars created for the business. Process. The key to operational effectiveness is making sure that each process is well documented, followed by all who contribute to it and measured in a way that it is as clear and predictable as possible. The signature of mediocrity is not an unwillingness to change. The signature of mediocrity is chronic inconsistency by Jim Collins. Having an effective process is essential to replicating success. You must document every granular detail and ensure precise measurements are in place in order, in order to ensure consistency through execution. Identify the top three processes that you are responsible to complete. 
that's most impactful to your business. Process one. What is your vision for this process? And how does it align with the mission of your business? Who are the key contributors to executing on the process at the highest level? What are the steps in the process that must be followed by the key contributors? What are the key performance indicators that determines the effectiveness at different success measurements? Poor, average, good, great, excellent, remarkable. The three Ps, multiplier, people. The faster you show people how easy something can be, the more you'll elevate their belief about what can be done. The more they believe it what can be done, the more energy they'll flow into accomplishing it. Brandon Dawson. In order to inspire and align people with how the business promotes, create profit, and implement process, you must provide the clarity of their current and future impact of the three Ps. Promote, profit, process. From there, you provide the picture of what it means to increase their impact through their specific contributions. Aligning what they're seeking to achieve with the goals of the business it is the silver bullet to inspiring massive action with all they do. Ask yourself, what does their specific contribution and opportunity look like? How can you align that opportunity with that individual? With what the individual is looking to achieve personally, professionally, and financially. Identify the top three high impact roles in the business, their most significant task, and how you measure their success. Task, activity that impacts the business. Measurement our key performance indicator. Role one, what are the areas of opportunity for this top performer to increase over the next 90 days? Duplicating the top talent, the three M's. You need to optimize your me leadership before you can achieve the we leadership. In order to effectively accomplish this, you need to leverage the concept of the three M's. Model, mimic, master. John Maxwell says, a leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. Modeling. Modeling is about what and the who. What goal or success have you established as a target? Who have you identified as having achieved that result? We all need someone to help us in our pursuit of intentional growth. And the right mentor helps you take that massive leaps forward by John Maxwell. Combine that with what Grant Cardone says about taking action. You can do nothing. You can retreat. You can take normal levels of action, or you can take massive action. If you want to take massive leaps forward, you must take massive action toward your goals. Goals and attributes. What attributes do you need in order to attain the vision of your success? Examples include mindset, knowledge and training, skills and abilities, health, lifestyle, connections or network, attitude, resources, anything that is specific to your ideal picture of success. Based on your goals, determine what attributes would enable you to achieve them. Attributes are different from goals in that a goal is defined as the end toward which effort is directed. An attribute is defined as a quality, character, or characteristic ascribed to someone or something. Attribute can be ascribed to a person or a process. Model. 
Find your model mentor. List three attributes from the prior page and identify three potential model mentors who align. First, the model should prove to be successful. This means successfully accomplishing your goal or successfully accomplishing a necessary part of your goal. One goal may require multiple models, one for each of the individual steps needed for success. Next, the model should possess the attributes necessary to be successful. This doesn't mean you'll find a perfect model with every attribute. Just focus on the positive attributes and disregard the negatives. An imperfect person or process can still be your model. Finally, this model does not necessarily have to be someone or something you have direct access to. Yet, you should have enough access to effectively mimic them. What steps will you take to begin the process of modeling after you identified mentors above? Mimic. To properly mimic, one must study, practice, and measure successful results. Mimicking is about how to follow the process to take the massive action you need to succeed. This is when you show up and do the work again and again and again. Extremely successful people know they have to put forth incredible energy and effort to achieve their goals. Otherwise, their success will cease to be realized. Grant Cardone They also know what working smarter, not harder, is the key to expedite, expediting that journey, which is why they seek to mimic successful behaviors of others. Study. What are the elements you'll need to study in order to mimic your model mentors? Put massive action into studying your model. Pay attention to the granular details of how the person or process reached their level of success. Practice. What will your daily routine consist of in order to practice mimicking your model mentors? Take massive action. Drill. Practice, rehearse, role play, do exactly what they did and continue to do it repeatedly until it becomes a part of your daily behavior. Measure, what are the behaviors, process, and language of your model mentors you are committed to mimicking that will program your mindset and develop your abilities? Your results are the lead indicator of properly mimicking your mentor's activities and abilities. You're either moving toward or away from your target. How will you measure your results? Master. Mastering is about understanding the why, demonstrating consistency, and replicating the results in others. You visualize your success gain confidence and experience from following a proven process, achieve that success, and now have attained clarity on why it works. With this clarity, you can now teach others. Understanding. The first signal that you have mastered a skill or ability is that you understand the why. For this, you need context and contrast. Define context. Define contrast. How will you ensure consistency of your results, even when you are working to improve those results? Next, you need to demonstrate consistency in the success that you achieve for yourself before you have the credibility to do it with others or get others to buy in. Replication. Finally, you need to replicate your results in other people. Con consciously knowing how you trained yourself to get those results is what you need to understand in order to train others. Know that you aren't the only one who can perform this task. In fact, you can't be if you want to grow and scale. What elements do you need to document in order to train others? 
What are the barriers you need to overcome in order to implement the techniques of mastering? How can those elements be delivered to the person you're training? The three M's multiplier, model, mimic, master. The three M's multiplier. The three M's provide the tools necessarily to effectively model, mimic, and master to achieve operational effectiveness. To truly scale, you need to focus on using this effectiveness to implement the three M's multiplier, which is multiply. This is vitally important for we leadership for growing and scaling your business. Define multiply. What are the three things you need to know in order to multiply? multiply? Functions. Once you have your top three functional areas, determine who is the key contributor under each of those areas. List your top performers for each of those functional areas. Contributors. Functional area one, top performer one, contribution style. Is he a thinker, doer, watcher, or a drainer? Techniques. Finally, you need to figure out exactly what makes those top performers so successful. Top performer one, what are they doing to increase the success of the business? What are they doing that stands out and above others in the business? How does their influence on others contribute to the business success? What is your step-by-step -step plan to implement the three M's and the multiplier of multiply in your business? Preparing for rapid expansion, the three by three model. Rapid scaling. Once you've mastered yourself, duplicating your success in others is the only way to elevate, it, to elevate your leadership lid. This process of duplication is the way you create a team to help you expand and scale your business. Think about the personal, professional, and financial goal setting process you, start, you just started. It's the same process that you should require for all team members in your organization because it's the only method to align and keep them actively engaged in the expansion process. As Grant Cardone says, never take the position that things just happen to you. Rather, they happen because of something you did or did not do. Be sure that you treat each team member's goals with the same level of attention you treat your own. The success of this duplication process is interdependent on each team member's individual and collective contribution. Core values. To master yourself and then others, you need to understand who you are, how you think, why you react a certain way, and what you do. They, these are your core values. The elements, rules, and guidelines you follow and leverage for these decisions with everything you do. Define Brandon Dawson's six core values and how they might align with yours. Six core values are inspiration, discipline, accountability, transparency, alignment, results. How will you utilize these core values in your business and perpetuate them every day? In order to duplicate your team and prepare for expansion, it is important to have insight into your accountability profile of your key contributors. What makes them unique? What are the key competencies they need to master their position or processes? And how will you measure their impacts? Duplicating top talent, creating contribution profiles, defined unique attributes, define key contributors, define performance metrics. Your 90-day implementation plan. Transfer your day one takeaways and add your day two takeaways. Prioritize them in order of lowest hanging fruit, quickest to obtain, 
in the next 30 days to larger scale over the course of 90 days. We recommend focusing on two items per 30 days in order to fully implement the item and ensure you create the habit. Remember, these are transitional items that are not simply transactional items you check off a list. They should require you to create strategies, design, and deploy plans, and guide you on a path to preparing for breakpoints as you grow and scale. You've invested in yourself over the past two days, and now you need to apply massive action with what you've learned in order to grow and scale your business and capitalize on that investment. Fill out the 90-day implementation plan below and hold yourself accountable to your overall goal attainment. How are you currently leveraging these elements in your business? If you're not, how will you over the next 90 days?